I'm just going to have a look at the uh, Triumph Tiger XCA and ask the question, is it worth a couple of grand more than the XCX? And what are the differences between the two, or the main differences? Well, one of the easily visual ones are the front fogs. They're grand, they're nice fogs, but, uh, you know, they're not completely essential and you can add your own quite cheaply, but, you know. The other difference, on the XEA, you get the arrow can. Notice they don't call it a performance exhaust, they call it a lightweight exhaust, even though the stock exhaust on the XCX, they call a lightweight exhaust or a lighter weight exhaust, and this one even kind of lighter. But it's not a performance exhaust, it adds no performance, it adds no mid-range, it adds no power, um, and it doesn't actually add any more noise. I've driven the XCX with the standard can, and the noise is identical. So the only thing it does is shave a bit of weight off. That's it. That's absolutely it. It does nothing else. On the XCA, you get the taller windscreen, the touring screen. Uh, it's just a few inches taller, but it does actually make a difference. I have ridden the XCX, as I say. It does make a bit of a difference. If you want to wear a peak, uh, that's the screen to go for. Um, I'm six foot and the air was right over my head. Uh, and you could wear a peak very comfortably. But, uh, yeah, I don't generally wear a peak. And the normal screen, uh, before you ditch it and buy this, which I'm sure would be a very expensive add-on to the XCX, um, try the stock screen that comes with the XCX, because I still think it's fabulous. Like all day, all day touring, no problem at all. It's uh, the, the, the stock screen, that's just a couple of inches shorter than this, is still, still, still very good screen. I do like it. So uh, I wouldn't rush out to change that either. But well, the XCA comes with the heated front and rear seats. There's the switch for the pillion. Two-stage heating. And it's up on the handlebar controls for the front seat. Uh, they're not that great. They don't actually get that hot. Um, you're supposed to put them on position two, get them up to heat uh, for a couple of minutes, uh, um, and then put it position one for normal use. Uh, you wouldn't even feel them on position one. Position two, they give you a mild glow. Uh, nice, but uh, nothing like what they were on the earlier generation of the Triumphs, the Explorers. Um, I, I think it's because they've changed the design of the seat with the mesh and they've, they've covered over the, the heating elements a little bit, maybe. Um, so they're not that effective. They, they, they give you a mild, nice bit of heat, but they're not that effective. Honestly, you wouldn't buy the bike for these heated seats. What else? You have a rear power socket on the XCA. Uh, it's nice, actually. I have used it with my pillion uh, for a heated vest or something like that. Uh, but again, it's actually a low-cost accessory. You can fit it yourself, um, and there's wiring already there behind it for it. So uh, that's not a deal-breaker, but a uh, nice accessory to have. The XCA does have a nice set of pegs. Uh, they have a lovely feel to them, lovely grip, nice big and wide. Uh, you can stand up quite comfortably on them. Uh, but look, you know, who's going off-road on this bike? Um, aesthetically, they're lovely, um, but they're not going to make a huge difference uh, when you're riding on the road. So, nice pegs, but not a deal-breaker. I suppose it's like all these things. All these little things add up to make the XEA model. I'm just trying to get to the, the bottom of the question. Is it worth spending two grand for all those nice little extra touches? The XCA has eight cornering lights, four on each side. These four LEDs here and these four LEDs here. Uh, yeah, they don't do anything. <laughs> they don't do anything at all. You'll never notice you had them. People will say they can tell the difference. I've been in pitch black and they don't, they don't make any difference whatsoever. So, uh, you know, don't buy an XCA for cornering lighting. It, it, it adds nothing. It adds absolutely nothing to the bike. Okay, the XCA does have hill hold, and it's just a quick, quick pull of the brake lever, and it operates the rear brake, and you can just drive off, or you can tap it again and release it. It's nice, it is nice, um, and handy when you're loaded up with stuff uh, on inclines and stuff like that, but, it, you know, it's not a deal breaker. It, it's nice to have, but, you know, you, you, you live without it. The XCA has an extra rider mode, and you'd think that might be the off-road pro mode or something like that, but it's actually not. Um, it's uh, a rider mode, a customizable rider mode. 
But Triumph are very good. You can take your existing rider modes anyway and customize those quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of convenient to have a customized rider mode. I bet most people don't create a customized rider mode. Um, it, it's okay to have, you know, it's, yeah, it's okay, you know, but it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, as I say, you can customize your existing rider modes uh, on the damping and the ABS and the traction if you want to change a feature of them. I can't, personally, I can't see many people doing that at all. Uh, so uh, that extra rider mode, yeah, big hoo-ha. No, no difference, really. In one of my other videos, I went through the screens on the TFT where you have uh, an extra three, well, you have an extra theme, which gives you an extra three screens. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, not, none of them are that great, actually. The, the first three, the, the original three screens are the better screens. Uh, they're more clearer. Uh, the, you know, like the gear position indicator is clearer on them and, and stuff like that. The other ones are just, look, you, you, you might prefer them, but it's no big deal. You know, with the XEX, you still have three screens to choose from. And in the end, I have six screens on this. I only ever use one. Uh, you can link screens to rider modes. So if you change a rider mode to rain, let's say, it'll change the layout of the screen. If you change it to sport, it'll change the layout of the screen. Or you can disable that feature and just leave it on the screen you like all the time. You don't have to take the screen uh, that Triumph assigned to a rider mode. But so those three extra screens, I never use them, ever. Uh, they're less clear. I can't see the gear indicator so clearly. I uh, can't see the fuel gauge clearly. So, again, that's nothing to write home about. Uh, y you wouldn't buy the XCA uh, instead of the XEX for that. What I would buy the XCA for, though, is that quick shifter. It's absolutely fantastic. It transforms this bike. It makes it completely different. It takes a lot of strain. Uh, well, not a lot of strain. It's not a lot of strain. It, it, it just makes the ride so much more pleasurable. Now... That's a fairly low cost uh, added option on the XEX. So the jury's not out on this one. It's an easy decision for me. If I was buying again, I'd definitely go the XEX, add the quick shifter, and that'd be it. There's nothing the XEA gives you that'll increase your enjoyment of the bike that much by two grand. Nothing at all. Um, save it and shell out on some luggage or something like that instead, sat nav, whatever. I can't think of anything else to say, so I'm gonna stop and keep this video short and sweet. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, last thing I meant to mention. If anyone's got a red one or a marine one, um, yeah, you need to trade up to a white one because they've got an extra 10 horsepower. Yeah, it's true, it's true, yeah, yeah, it is.